Genesis 1, Chapter 1 The Creation of the World In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was, a, was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. Gold God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the expanse and separate the waters that were under the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse. And was so. And God called the expanse heaven. And there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yield in seed, and fruit trees bear in fruit, in which is their seed, each according to its kind, on the earth. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which, their, in which is their seed, each according to its own kind. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was e morning the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the expanses of heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Let them be lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And God set them in the expanse of, he of the heavens to give light on earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. So God created the great sea creatures and every living creature that moves, with which the waters swarm according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds, and the livestock according to their kinds, and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant-yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed and its fruit. You shall have them for food, and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth. Everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. So, when people talk about the Bible, they tend to sort of write off the Old Testament as just sort of like a means to an end to get to like all the Jesus stuff, right? But I believe that in this first chapter of Genesis, we are taught that God 
has the ability to create. God has the ability to give life. God is all powerful in that way. And he was there to create the heavens and the earth. So in Christianity, it's very fundamental that we have complete faith and trust in God. And we understand just how all powerful he is. And I believe that in this reading of the first chapter of Genesis, it really brings to life the fact that God is all powerful. Everything that we know, everything that exists, including the heavens and the earth, they're all because of him. They're all because he created them and he has rule over all of them. And we are, we as people are given dominion over the earth. But ultimately, we are his creation, and so is the earth. So, essentially what I'm trying to get across with my understanding of the first chapter of Genesis is that God is all-powerful, and we exist to serve him by having dominion over the earth. And that is our purpose in God's eyes. We exist to have dominion. We exist because this is our domain. This is where we are, right? And in this first chapter, we see just how powerful God is, giving life to all the birds, all the plants, all the creatures in the sea, all the creatures that crawl on the ground, and then given life to us. And we are, it says here, uh, Genesis 1, 27, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. We are made in God's image. We are made in a way that is somewhat similar to God. So, I suppose that's why we, I know, like, I suppose that's why we have control over, well, not control, but dominion over the earth. And the fact that we are created in the image of God means that we are meant to be like him. I mean, we can never, like, be like God, but we were meant to at least exist in a way that he saw right. And, you know, I, I'm not going to jump too far ahead, but in, but like, we all know the story of Eden, right? You, we know, like, uh, Eve and Adam ate the apple, and then th there was sin. So we have failed to do what God has wanted us to do. And that is why God had to send his son. So I suppose just the big message that I believe we can take away from the first chapter of Genesis is that we should trust God because he created everything. Without God, we wouldn't exist. Without God, we wouldn't have life. Let me know your thoughts now in the comments. That's everything I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.